Welcome back to News Across Nigeria, the program that takes you across the length and the breadth of the country. Now, for more on our top stories and others, please visit our website, channelstv.com and youtube.com forward slash channels web. Log on to m.channelstv.com to watch us on your mobile device or download the Channels TV app for Android, iOS and Windows devices from their respective stores. The Channels TV and Channels 24 app will give you access to news and updates. You'll also have access to the eyewitness feature with which you can share those pictures, videos or news of happenings around you. Just install the app, then tap and swipe to reveal the eyewitness menu and follow the instructions you find there. And now to the pictures you sent in. First is this image from Ianopaja in Lagos where residents go through the daily pain of wading through water. Our eyewitness reporter is calling on the state government to urgently address the matter. Our next image from Ibadan, or your state, shows a submerged vehicle, which our eyewitness reporter says was caused by both flood and a bad bridge. The state government is urged to act on this before lives are lost. And finally from Abuja is this of a developing gully on the road around the African University of Science and Technology, Gala Dimawa Abuja. Our eyewitness reporter wants the government to fix this early before it gets out of hand. And that's all we have for you. Thank you for the pictures. Do keep them coming. Well, the Inspector General of Police, Ibrahim Idris, has ordered an independent investigative panel to look into the recent clash between the Nigerian police and Navy, which recorded loss of lives and others currently, uh, which, who are currently receiving treatment in hospitals. According to the police boss, the recommendations of the report will be followed and those behind the unfortunate incident will be severely punished to serve as a deterrent to others with tendencies of reprisal. He urged them to be law-abiding and prevent reprisal attacks while assuring that an independent investigative panel will be set up to ensure that the culprits are fished out. The Chief of Air Staff, Air Vice Marshal Sadiq Abubakar, has appealed to Nigerians to be more patient with the military who are fighting hard day and night to flush out the remnant of Boko Haram in the northeast. He made a call through a representative at the NAF base in Yola, the Adamawa state capital, during an inspection of the air component of the Operation Lafiadoli. The equipment being asse assessed is the fighter aircraft known as the M135, introduced in the counterinsurgency operations in the northeast. The chief of air staff uh, usually say uh, we expect the Nigerians to continue to support us, uh, to provide whatever information that is required to help us as, uh, tackle the insurgency. Uh, we need their support and uh, we continue to do our best uh, to uh, sort out the problem once and for all. Uh, from all indications, we, we can all attest to the fact that uh, a lot has been done, uh, very little is uh, remaining, and uh, we expect Nigerians to be with us uh, all the time. The Asaba airport will be shut down soon for repairs to be carried out in the B section of the airport runway. This is coming from the governor, Ifan Yokoa, after inspecting repairs at the Asaba airport as directed by the NCAA in 2015. The governor, who addressed journalists of the, on the upgrade, remarked that when completed, it would be the best in the south-south and southeastern regions. The only time that the airport will be put to a close is when they are dealing with the section B, because at that point in time, uh, because it's at the middle section, you will not have... Uh, uh, the 2.4 kilometers that is needed. Uh, I'm told that that aspect has to be left for the dry season so that there's a short, uh, much shorter time of closure of the airport uh, because at that point in time the airport has to be closed and uh, if we do that in the rainy season that will drag on. So we, we hope that uh, we work in the best interest of uh, the state and the passengers to uh, to deliver a schedule. But, but the important thing is that the work in section uh, A is in, uh, well done and uh, 
the obstacles zones uh, have been dealt with. Uh, the instrument landing system is, uh, is already on course, and then the approach light uh, from the section A has uh, also uh, been fixed. Uh, it's just the bulbs that are left. So we now have approach lights from both sides, uh, which is uh, quite encouraging. Delta State Governor Ifai Okowa. I'm now being joined on the program by Channel TV's aviation correspondent, Bukola Joe Ketumbi, to shed some light on the repairs going on in Asaba. Thank you for joining us on the program, Buki. Good afternoon, Nimana. Well, Buki, could you quickly uh, talk us through on the exact nature of repairs going on in the Asaba airport right now? Okay, thank you, Mana. Okay, what exactly is going on at the Asaba airport is such that the wrong way before now has been a major source of concern. Safety concern for the Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority that they had to downgrade in 2015. And the Civil Aviation Authority listed certain factors. The fact that they had undulations on that runway it, it marked that the um, aircraft operations into that place posed a danger. If anything happened, reaching aircraft, because I think at a point there was a hill on the runway and all of that had to give way. So right now they're, they've done, they're almost done with phase A because they have divided that runway repair into three. Is A, B, and C. So what you saw the governor saying there is that when, because the phase A is almost complete, when they move to the phase B, there will be a need to shut the airport to traffic. That's simply because that portion is in the middle and no aircraft can land on the remaining C portion. Okay, um, well, I understand that two years ago the airport, the Asaba airport was downgraded by the NCAA. Um, could this in any way be connected to the ongoing repairs at the start? Exactly. You know, right now, we understand that the Delta State government is doing a lot, but there were other things that the Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority wanted them to do. They wanted them to put drainage around the airport. They wanted them to put a perimeter fence around the airport as well. And they also wanted them to train technical personnel because they found out that the state government at that time was not training people. So this is just one of the requirements that is expected for that airport to meet safety standards. Okay, with the airport being shut down at this time, how um, critical or how would it affect um, the economy of that region? How important, how key is this airport to that region? First of all, I know that right now, the Asaba Airport should be losing revenue because by the time the NCA had, down, had downgraded two years ago, only two airlines or so could fly in with small turboprops. That's Overland and Aero and Arik. Because I know Aero and Airpiece used to go there with bigger aircraft. So that, in one way, is affecting. But you know, um, Asaba is strategic because for those who trade in the neighboring city of Onitsha, you could simply cargo your goods to um, Asaba, then move on to Onitsha without having to go through Enugu or Lagos or Port Harcourt. So that's very important. And of course, you know that the Asaba also serves as an alternative to Benin and to Wari and all of those airports around. Okay, well, has there been any specific time frame designated for the repairs? Um, I know that um, it's two years into that repair from when they were downgraded till now. Okay, um, it's been ongoing for two years now. The airport went on, um, was downgraded two years ago. Mm -hmm. So all of those lists that the NCA gave them, all the things they need to do until it is complete. The it NCA could be another go 10 back years, there. another uh, five or I, five months. There's not. been no specific time frame. Of course, if you, uh, from what the governor said, the governor said they're looking at um, the dry season. Then, of course, you know, if Asabai sure, that means you may have to take Bini as an alternate or go to the Inugu airport. All right, thank you very much. Bukola Joe, okay to me, Channel Television's uh, aviation correspondent for joining us to shed some light on the ongoing repairs in the Asabai airport. Well, we'll take a moment now, and when we come back, we'll have some more stories. Stay with us.